Okay, so now we know at least abstractly what it means to be a group, it's helpful to consider a few examples. So I'm going to construct a group now from scratch and we can see how the group st structure emerges. So I'm going to begin with the set G with three elements, A, B and C. So it makes no sense to say that this set is a group by itself. We need to define with respect to which composition operation the set becomes a group. So we recall that the composition operation is a map that takes two elements from the group and maps it to a third element in the group. So how do we define this composition operation? Well, in principle, we would need to show how it acts on every single element in the group. So this would be an element and this would be an element in the group. So a convenient way to, to represent this is using the following table. So this table we use to define how this composition operation acts on each element in the following way. Okay, so when we're constructing this composition table, as it's called, we need to remember to adhere to the group axioms. So if we recall, they were closure, meaning that we can only map elements in the group to other elements in the group. So anything I write down here can only be A, B, or C. Secondly, we had associativity. We won't actually need to worry about that in this case, since we're only considering the composition of two elements. Thirdly, we had that there exists some particular element in the group called the identity element. So the identity, when you compose any element with the identity, you are just returned to that element. So I'm going to just now declare, for our purposes, that A is to be the identity element of our group. So now I can immediately write down that any element composed with A is just going to give back that element that we started with. So A composed A is A. And then finally we have the existence of an inverse. So the inverse element, for every element, when you compose it with its inverse, you're returned to the identity element. So for our purposes, again, I'm just going to declare that every element is its own inverse. So when we have B composed with itself, that returns us to the, inver the identity, and similarly with C. Okay, so we only have two slots left to fill here. I need to define what B composed C and C composed B are. Now, these in principle could be anything as long as it's A, B or C. So I'm just going to make a choice. I'm going to write down that B composed C is B and C composed B. For now, I'll just say that's B as well. So now we come to an observation. This composition table is symmetric about this diagonal meaning that B composed C is the same thing as C composed with B. Now this didn't have to be the case. I could have written down something like this and we would still have a valid group, but B composed C is not equal to C composed B. So when this is the case, the group is so-called non-abelian meaning that this composition operation doesn't commute in that B composed C is not the same thing as C composed B. It matters which order they're written in. The other case would be abelian, which is the case we considered before when the composition table is symmetric about the diagonal and we have that B composed C is C composed B. So what we've succeeded in doing we started with a set of just three elements, didn't say anything about what the elements are. I've simply constructed a composition map by writing down how it acts on all the elements. And I've been able to, to show that this composition map makes this set into a group because it satisfies all the axioms. Notice I haven't told you anything about what this composition operation actually is. I've just written down how it acts on each element and what that produces.
if you had a big, big, big set with many elements, this would be a rather tedious task. But we usually can just do something like writing down composition is multiplication. Then it's obvious how composition acts on every element in the group, and we don't need to go through this whole procedure. But in principle, this is how you show that a set is a group with respect to some particular composition operation.